today on Divorce Court. Sean gets very, very aggressive, and I don't feel very safe. It's almost like she's just out to hurt me, it seems like now. I'm the blame for everything. She's stubborn. She can't listen to reason. He tells me he's angry because I make him angry. I make him do the things that he does to me. She needs to realize what she has before I leave. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am here with Marquise Thomas and Sean Campbell. The two of you have been together five years. You want to be engaged, but you can't even manage to get to that because you say you argue so much. Uh, you have no children together, but you do have children by other partners. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ms. Thomas, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me what's going on here and why you're having such difficulty with Mr. Campbell? Okay, well, to start off, uh, we met and um, basically we started talking in November of 2012. Uh, we were working together um, as waitresses mm -hmm. and waiter. Yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> and um, basically, um, I had just got out of a relationship and we were together for a little over two years. And that relationship ended really, really ugly. So when I met Sean, um, my intentions were just basically to like, just take it slow. But Sean's intentions were a little different. He kind of just like fell head over heels instantly mm -hmm. so we had like kind of like got off into a really really bad argument uh, one time I was coming to his home and he had opened the door for me and he wanted me to just walk straight into his home and what I did was just wait for him to close the door and, and come inside and he picked the argument with me for not going straight into his house into his room Mr. Campbell what what do you say happened? Because I didn't understand that. No, uh, that, that didn't entirely happen that way your honor. Um, she, uh, of course, she just right about when she came over. I did want her to come into the house, just walk right in. Um, I held the door, and it was for her to walk right in. I told her she, well, I ain't tell her. I'm just expecting her to go. In the house or into your bedroom? Into the house. Okay, I opened gotcha. the door to the house. Um, and she had to like, she didn't want to just go in. I told her she was good. I wanted her to feel comfortable. What was the issue about? him holding the door for you. Why didn't you like that? It wasn't the fact that I didn't like it. I went into the home. I just didn't go into his room. Number one, it just wasn't his home. He stayed with a couple other um, cousins and friends. So it was multiple men in the two, home. Did you two really fight about that? Yes, we did. And, yes, that, was our, we and, did. and that was our first argument ever. We really did. All because of that, because that. I didn't go inside his room. No, ma'am, it wasn't about her going into my room. I wanted her to feel comfortable about being at my house. Now I didn't want her to feel like a guest. How long have you been together when this argument occurred? This, was, this wasn't even... Only a few months, maybe probably three, not three even months, a few months. Two, three months, yeah. <laughs> Did you see it as a sign of maybe we're not good together? I didn't see it as a sign because my intentions at the time wasn't like, you know, we're together. To get to into get... a deep relationship. Yes, at the time. We just were slowly progressing. Okay. Now tell me about the confusion about your pregnancy, about who might be the father and why that caused so much difficulty? Well, um, number one, it never was a confusion. Um, me and Sean stopped talking in like the end of January, maybe somewhere around there. I ended up meeting my son's father um, the day after Valentine's Day and it kind of just led to one thing to another, just having fun at the mm -hmm. end of the day. And I ended up pregnant. Um, me and Sean started back talking and so I brought the situation to him. and I saw that he felt some type of way. At the end of the day, my whole pregnancy, Sean was there. He felt some type of way. What Which, type of way did you feel? I mean, of course, if we was talking and we was together and I liked her and I, just because we had broke up, I didn't think it was going to be a breakup forever, so I was hurt. I was, I was... You thought you were on a break and you yeah, thought I break think, meant it, we're not going to have sex with other people. She fooled around and had sex with somebody and else got and pregnant. upset you yeah, and yeah. got pregnant. And got Ms. Pregnant. Thomas, can I say that you, this to you? You didn't end up pregnant. What you did was have unprotected sex. Yes. And until you become the subject of your sentences, until you become fully responsible for everything you do, I mean, if you just out goofing around with a dude, protection, protection, Definitely. protection, it don't make no sense. It really doesn't to do anything else. And it, I mean, it's, it's just, it, it's untenable as a, as a society because we're not emotionally capable of doing that right. Yes. You know what I mean? Because he's going to feel some type of way, the other guy's going to feel some type of way, that this kid's step friend, half brother, daddy's going to feel some type of way. It's just terrible. It's messy, I get it. It's just a hoopty on the road, ready to break down. I definitely get it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm done. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm done. I'm so, so sorry. Well, okay, I'll tell you what. Like, you, you um, what happened at the jo his job he, that got him fired? He got in a fight with one of the cooks? No, he um, well, he didn't get fired from that, oh, actually. Okay, well, okay. he did get fired. I lied. Um, they, they did fire him. And I don't, don't know the tr um, exact story. Sean just told me, but that's a part of his aggression, his yeah. anger. Yeah. You you got you, do you think you have an anger issue? Let's no, ask her that. that. No, did you get in a fight with I the cook at your job? Yes, ma'am. Tell it, me, it, it, explain how that transpired. Oh, oh yes, ma'am. I'm a server, and I take I, if I'm going to be delivering people their food, I got to take it all right, ma'am. I can't just take somebody some doughy pancakes, and that's right. why and that's why he was trying to get me to take out. So I asked him if if he can make them over. The man up there talking about what's wrong with these pancakes, I told him they got dough in the middle. I can't take these out. That's going to not only affect my tip, but it can affect the business as sure. well. So I can't take this out like that. He, get, he gets mad he, because he's under pressure. He was the new cook, and he's under all this pressure. He can't kick, keep up with the other cooks. So he got mad at me, and he breaks up the pancakes. He tears the pancakes up and where the dough at. I, I was like, well, you got to make them over now because you broke them. You, you mm. tore them up, so now you got to for sure make them over. This is not what we're talking about, but let me say this. We are in a society where we're all acting like a bunch of two-year-olds who have been denied their nap. Yes, there was a way to be professional. Yes, ma'am. If you know he's a new cook, if you know he's under pressure, and you come in light, and I know you're under pressure, man, but we can't send these out. Can you make these over again? You make it easy for him to act like he's got some sense. No matter how emotional somebody else is, you're, you, you're in charge of your emotional house. Yes, ma'am. And I don't care who's banging at your door. You got to come correct. You didn't come correct. You came, you know, it was silly. You know what I'm saying? And if you go through life, everybody's poking and provoking and responding and, and popping and hopping, we're not going to make it. Exactly. We're just not going to make it. Yes, ma'am. I'm not just fussing at you. That was, that, that, that was... That was for the world at large. <laughs> it's the world at large. But Ms. Thomas, I understand you have a bit of a temper yourself. And I would like to talk about the temper that you have and the manner in which you express it. Yes, ma'am. Do you hoop and holler in front of your children? I used to. I don't do it anymore. No. Ms. Thomas, let me ask you this. I understand you acted a fool once you got here. Really? Last night. Wow. Did, did you tell... not? I mean, did, 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 did we not have a problem where yes, we had he... to have move? What, what, what happened? So, Mr. Campbell, we talked about your anger. Well, I would like you to tell me, uh, give me a story of one of the most outrageous examples of Ms. Thomas's anger. Well, we had an incident at my house, uh, in my apartment one time. And, um, uh -huh. I, well, I had ordered some food, and um, she was, um, she just wanted to leave because we had gotten into an argument before the food could even get there. So she was packing her kids up. Her kids get there, I mean, with food get there before she could leave, and her kids go to get something to eat. And she snatched the chicken out their hand and throw it and say, we not eating none of his food. And I feel like not only did you take your anger out on me, but you also took it out on your kids because you didn't want them to eat my food. You know, like, I'm, I'm like, Thomas, did the food you do that, that I ordered. Um, I really didn't even remember because it was so long ago. It had to have been like close to four years ago now. Um, and that is accurate. I did do Three, that. Four, um, but at the time, nine. it was kind of like the in the moment, we're not staying, we're getting our things to going. And at the time, in the process, the food ended up coming. But it was time to go. I don't. Do you hoop and holler in front of your children? I used to. I don't do it anymore. No. Ms. Thomas, let me ask you this. I understand you acted a fool once you got here. Really? Last night. Wow. Did, did you not? I mean, did, did, did we not have a problem where yes, we had he... to have. Move. What, what, what happened? What happened was, from the beginning of on the plane, he was just throwing little shots and shades at me, basically saying, like, we're not, we're not going nowhere after this. We're just doing this. Um, we're just here to be here. And at the end of the day, I'm not here to just be here. I'm here to work on me and Sean. Mm -hmm. I'm here for him to finally open his ears. But you guys got into an argument we last night? Into, we got into an argument because... We were supposed to go get something to eat yesterday, and we were going to go to the mall. And it didn't happen that way. I was in the bathroom getting dressed, 
And when I came out, I'm thinking Sean's phone is charged. By this time, it's ready to go because he had already showered mm. and everything. He said his charger wasn't working that he had just brought. One. Okay, let's not get into the specifics. Just I'm sorry. Who, 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 who lit up and what did they say? He, he lit up. I didn't. I didn't have no not one confrontation with him. I avoided the whole situation. I left the room. I stayed gone. I even asked him. I told him I was getting an Uber. He came downstairs and was supposed to try to rekindle the situation, but of course not. He brought up situations that happened in the past with us again. This is no fair. I'm not here to um, have a good time with you. And what are we here for then? Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> what are My we understanding, for? Mr. Campbell, is you say she calls the police on you all the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So I want to know what happens, when she does it, why she does it, and uh, then maybe we can come to some kind of responsible conclusion. Marquis, it's not fair for her to say I got an anger problem. It's not fair at all. He is very easily angry. I can say one word that he does not like. He flips out and he, he gets all in my face. He gets very, very aggressive. What would you do if your partner had a baby on a break? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Mr. Campbell, tell me about how she, why and when she contacts the police with respect to you. When I was younger, I made a terrible mistake. I uh -huh. made, um, you know, and I ended up being on probation for a few years. Okay. And I met Marquise while I was on probation. And I believe that she used that against me. Whenever we get into an argument or if she want me to leave or if she want me to get out the car, or if she just wanted to do anything to hurt me, she, she used to threaten to call Tell the police on me. Tell me a story one time when she called the police, it was just ridiculous. One time that I remember we was in the car and um, she asked me to get out the car. And I told her I wasn't finna get out the car, I didn't want to walk home. And I was probably being a little stubborn as well. So if she gets mad and she was on her way to the police station, and before we can even get to the police station, we ran into, we seen some officers on patrol and she, asked them to make me get out the car, and they made me get out the car. At this time, I was on probation, so if they would have got my ID and would have said, can yeah, we run you your name, back in. I could have gone back in I understand on the she violation. also called the police on you one time because you were playing cards and you thought she thought you were cheating or something? No, 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 no. no. I have which plan? <laughs> no, ma'am. That's not the entire... Uh, that's, that's why I started, ma'am. But then we ended up getting into an argument. She asked me to leave. I, got, I wanted to prove my point before I left. So she went and called the police, and when she did that, I left before the police could get there. Okay, Ms. Thomas, now, you yeah. can respond to that. Um, basically, we were supposed to be on our way to go get something to eat. Um, y'all should quit eating. <laughs> Every time you guys get ready no, to go no, eat, this, this, this was in the, no, this was in the past. I cook a lot. I, I do a lot of cooking now. This, this, everything that we're talking about has happened three years ago. Like, No, we're, we're talking... It happened last night. Okay. Y'all still acting the fool. Yeah, I, I promise. Yeah. I promise I didn't do anything. I got a separate room to avoid any confrontation, to avoid any of his personal acts that he does. Okay. But prior to that, like I said, we were on our way to get something to eat, and we got into an altercation driving. I asked him, because he was being very disrespectful in my car, I said, you know what, you can just get out. He said he's not going to get out. So what I did was I turned around, and I dropped him off in front of his home. No, Your Honor, no, she didn't. Stop, stop, stop. <sighs> My right up to God, I dropped him off in front of his home for him to get out, his, out, out of my car. He refused to get out of my car, so therefore that's why I start driving to the police station. I never made it to the police station because I saw the police. I flagged them down. I said, officer, this man is being very disrespectful. Could I asked him numerous of times to get out of my car. He refused. I said, I dropped him off to his home. He refused to get out of my car. I said, so now this is my end result to make him Did get out of my car. Did you refuse to get out of the I car? I refused to get Campbell? out the car, but she never dropped me off in front of my house. She rode right past my house. She rode right past it I without parked. even. And then before we even, even got to the police station, I was like, man, can you please take me back home? Your Honor, she needs to realize that calling the police on me or, or many people need to realize I'm I'm a black man who was on probation. Right, living I got in you. My I got state. you. Understand, and, and there are, there are real consequences. It's consequences to, to calling you, the Mr. police Campbell, on me. It's both of you see clearly the others the others wrong, and I want to know if you have any insight into what you may be doing incorrectly. When you get upset, do you come crooked at her and cro come crooked strongly? Thank yes, ma'am, I do. I, yeah. I, I, I do come sideways and I do come crooked. But with Marquise, I don't go there quick with her. That's... I don't. I am very patient with Marquise. She can admit that to you. It, it takes a while for me to even snap out 
okay. and, and, and say spiteful things and say stuff. That's the only I do. Marquise, it's not fair for her to say I got an anger problem. It's not fair at all. He is very easily angered. I can say one word that he does not like, and he flips out, and he, he gets all in my face. He gets very, very aggressive. It takes way more than one word. What does she do that takes you there? If you say you have such a long fuse, what does she do to burn it? It could just be stuff that building up over time, Your Honor. It, it, it probably just don't be the one thing. It's just a, a combination of, of things that's been going on. Like yesterday, it was just the way she was acting, like nonchalant, like, like... I got, I, I got the picture. It's Scared just... of it, but I got it. What would you do if your partner's hot temper frightened you? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. I know exactly what's happening here. And it's not a was situation, it's an is situation. You two do not know how to manage, to manage your emotional houses. You just don't have a clue. You can't, let your, you can't let your emotions straddle events. If you get bottled up and upset about something and you carry it forward and carry it forward and carry it forward, eventually it's gonna blow up bigger than it ever needed to be. You have to resolve issues in real time. You resolve it in real time, but not at the time. Absolutely. When you're upset, you don't talk when you're upset. You let that happen. Two days later, you come back at it. Here's what upset me about yesterday. Thank you. But Thank I, you. No, 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 put your hand down. You That's don't right. know what you're doing. And you think you do. And you're talking to a woman here who's got 60 years of experience and your hand is up after I got done with three sentences. You're not in a position to learn because you're not in a position to accept criticism. And you can't be that person and get any better. Let me just put that out there. You have, a, you have an anger issue that you do not have control over. You are like a city broken into and left without walls. That's my favorite thing yeah, out of yeah. Proverbs. Because it's like you're exposed to the world owns you. That everybody in this room, anybody can own you. You have to own yourself. And that is a job that you're going to have to take care of on your own. Yes, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Are you mad? No, I'm not mad Are at you all. receiving me? No, I'm receiving everything you, re you're saying. You receiving me? Ms. Thomas, I think you've been a hot head yourself. I have. And I think that you come from an environment where uh, anger is the natural response to any irritant. And if you are in an environment, it, it seems as if you're powerful when you're angry, but really you are at your weakest because you are vulnerable to everything around you. I don't think you be, do have any business being together. I really don't. Because neither one of you have got the emotional capacity to be the person that you need to be. Being with somebody is all about compromise and getting irritated and resolving and having a, a, a conversation. You two don't have any way to go about it. I wrote a book called uh, My Mother's Rules. It's all about the emotion of the moment, the proper feeling, who it is, what you need to do to put down anger. You can have a situation that makes you angry. You can sit it over there and, and, and say, tomorrow with it and conduct your business and then you can pick it up on a day when you can actually handle it. So I want you to receive what I said. I want you to actually read that book because it's how you change how you feel and nobody's in control of how they feel anymore. And until you're in control of how you feel, you cannot control your circumstances. That's you understand right. me? That's right. I wish you both the very best, but I wish you very best separately. Thank this you. matter is adjourned. I do agree with uh, the advice that we should go our separate ways because it's been nothing but, but chaos in our relationship for the last five years on and off it's like we can't stand each other for no longer than three months as of now it's no saving our relationship um, i feel like our breakthrough is ended and it has come <laughs>